Meet Alberta's new premier, Jim Prentice. Jim has a problem. There's a hole in his government's budget, and he's looking for someone to blame. Is it OPEC's fault? Well, they're an easy target. But the fact is, oil prices go up and down. What about teachers, nurses, firefighters, and other public sector workers? They've always been a favorite target for conservative premiers. But the truth is, as a proportion of our overall economy, no other province spends less than we do on public services. So if it's not OPEC, or how much we spend on public services, who's to blame for Alberta's budget woes? It's time for the Tories to look in the mirror. The problem started about 20 years ago, when Alberta's Tories began poking holes in the revenue base needed to fund basic public services like education and healthcare. Taxes on corporate profits were cut from 15% to 10%, the lowest in the country, costing the government $2 billion a year. At the same time, the province's progressive income tax was replaced with a 10% flat tax. While this was a huge benefit to Alberta's wealthiest, it cost the government another $2 billion a year. To top things off, resource royalties were slashed. In the 80s, Albertans collected about 35% of energy sector revenues in the form of royalties. Today, that figure is 10%, the lowest in Alberta history, and significantly lower than other oil producers like Texas and Alaska. Conservative premiers managed to hide the revenue problem they'd created in three ways. First, for years, they simply refused to invest in necessary infrastructure, like new hospitals, schools and roads, even as the provincial population boomed. This explains why the Calgary Board of Education is now holding lotteries to determine which kids will get a spot in schools. It also explains why hospitals in Edmonton and Calgary are operating at 20 or 30 percent over capacity every day, to the point where doctors warn a disaster is imminent. Second, the Tories kept wage increases for public sector workers low, even when the economy was booming, costs were rising, and wages in the private sector were increasing at a healthy pace. Third, Conservatives hid the revenue holes they had created by papering them over with energy money. Even with extremely low royalty rates, as long as oil prices remained high, lots of cash was available for Conservatives to plug the holes they had drilled and to give the illusion of stability. But this strategy had obvious limitations. It meant there was usually nothing left over to save for future generations. This explains why Alberta's Heritage Fund hasn't grown since the 80s, while oil savings funds in places like Norway are now worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Today, the good ship Alberta is taking on water because of years and years of irresponsible tax cuts, royalty giveaways, and incompetent management. And that's where Captain Jim finds himself now. The good news is there's a better way for Alberta. Instead of cutting programs and services that Albertans need, we can simply fix the holes that got us into trouble in the first place by bringing back progressive income taxes, slightly increasing corporate taxes, and getting a fair price for the sale of our resources. We can fix the budget mess created by back-to-back -back conservative governments. The truth is, Alberta could increase revenue from taxes by $11 billion a year and still be the lowest tax province in Canada. Now, it's up to you. Sign the Better Way Alberta petition calling for revenue reform instead of cuts to public services. Call your MLA and tell them you want the government to fix the real problem, the revenue problem, and take responsibility for the mess they created. Most importantly, let's make this next election about fixing Alberta's revenue holes. Tell candidates they can win your support by reversing years and years of irresponsible tax cuts and royalty giveaways and promising to use the new money generated by reform for frontline services, not future giveaways to friends of the government. With your help, we can fix our broken revenue system and make Alberta strong and seaworthy enough to weather any storm. For more information on how Alberta got into this mess and how we can fix it, go to betterwayalberta.ca.